So I was watching other YouTubers look into weird merch and bootlegs for different Nintendo franchises, mostly Pokemon and Mario. And of course, I naturally looked for Splatoon videos and, well, I didn't find anything. Well, at least not really. So why is that? Splatoon is an insanely popular franchise and has been around for quite a while now. With that, you'd think there'd be plenty of weird merch or bootlegs out there. And there is some, but honestly, there isn't a lot of Splatoon merch in general. And a good portion of new Splatoon merch tends to not leave Japan, which is quite disheartening. But hey, there's not much we can do besides continuing to yell at that mega corporation until they hear our furious gaming cries and tell us to screw off. Doesn't mean we won't continue though. Either way, with that I thought it'd be fun to take a little dive into a few different marketplaces and see what random Splatoon merch we can find. None of the searching parts are scripted, unless I lose the audio like I did on my newest fashion show video. Yeah, that's why there hasn't been one since the last video I did on it. Regardless, let's jump right in. Alright, so for this video, we're going to start with Amazon and then we're going to move our way up to the weirder websites where I suspect there will probably be some more peculiar merchandise. So we're going to start off with Amazon because this will probably be where we get most of the official stuff. Probably. Amazon is a real cesspool of randomness, if we're being honest. First off, look at that. 20... Wait, that's $15 off? I wasn't planning on buying anything, but... I've wanted one of these plushes, but $35 was, I was never paying, I was never gonna pay that. But these are so cute. Oh, look, that could be me. That is the lamest shirt I have ever seen. $50? Oh, for that? Jeez. Ah, uh, yes, a sticker collection full of stolen art. Oh, I recognize a lot of these artists already. And I know. But not a single one of these artists were asked if this art could be used. Oh god, what's going on with that girl over there? Oh god, the Splatoon mangas, those are the weirdest things. Oh, oh god, what is going on here? <laughs> Yeesh. What? War of Nintendo Splatoon Splattershot Refill. Is this just Splatoon Slime? Splatoon Refill. Oh wait, Splatoon Re- I know what these are for. They made these little Splatoon splatter shot things and they were like the crappiest little things possible. If I recall, they shot like barely anything. They were just kind of garbage, but a cute little souvenir. If anything, I would have bought them. I don't have one, but, and these are out of stock, right? No, they're not. I, you know what? I might buy this or at least I might buy the refill just for the cool little ink tank and the fact that it's literally just slime and like, I don't, I don't have anything against slime. This phone, <laughs> the kid. Jeez, look at that Photoshop job. My god, that kid. Look at his eyes. He has he has killed some people. Holy crap. Splatoon party flavors. Oh, these are pr pretty lame. But you know what? If I was a kid and I liked Splatoon, I would be pretty happy to see something like this. Even though they're all just stock renders, but hey. What are you gonna do? Jesus, look at the roller. Why'd they have to keep the entire trail? That one's huge. God, I wish I had the Splatoon OLED switch. Like, holy crap, I want it. I want it so bad. What is... <laughs> what is that? Where are these big goofy glasses? Jeez. <laughs> oh, that's demented. I don't like that. Oh, God. Imagine someone kissing you with those big goofy glasses on. I'm into that. <laughs> don't leave that in the video. Game gun compatible with Switch OLED replacement gun controller accessory for a Nintendo Switch shooting games. Splatoon 3. It's just two hunks of plastic. This is giving off real Wii vibes right here. <laughs> Look at this Photoshop job. Oh my God. The best part of Amazon listings are the damn Photoshop jobs they do to try to show off the products. Oh, what is that design? Is that a switch case? Dang, that, all right, that is clean. Seems like it's a protector. Yeah, it's a protector. That is like a super clean design if I'm being honest. Look at that. Look, the gold dynamo roller. <laughs> there you go, guys. I found it. I mean, I, it's in the game now, so I, I guess I can't make that joke, but... Oh, look at the... Con Ooh, look at the controllers, too. I feel like a protective case would actually be pretty, pretty uncomfortable on your Switch, but honestly, this looks really nice. I would... I'd be tempted to get it if it wasn't 18 bucks. 18 bucks for what's probably a cheap, flimsy piece of plastic is, uh... I don't know, I'm a bit stingy. Oh, fine. Ooh, 5% off. Oh, I gotta buy it now. Oh, crap. All right, Amazon. Amazon isn't giving me much to go off of, but it is Amazon. Oh, yep, more stolen art. Yep, great, love that. Oh, $20 for, uh, we found, all right. It didn't take long, we found a bootleg. $20 for the Marina plush, no way in hell. Yeah, finding one of these plushes for cheap is like, look at that, 35 for the price, 
35 alone and then $20 for delivery. Jeez. And then buying them together, holy. Plus $30 shipping? Oh my God. Let's look at the reviews because I'm pretty sure this is a bootleg. Like look at her head. It's so smushed. Her head is so smushed. Her hair looks like it's about to fall right off her head too. Yeah, definitely not official, but I still love. Oh no, <laughs> Marina, no, what did they do to you? All right, review update. Do not let Marina go anywhere heated. The glue that attaches her headset comes off. Yikes. <laughs> Nothing goofy so far. Oh, actually, wait, that's kind of sick. Is there an official Splatoon trucker hat that this is just ripping off? Or is this like an original thing? Wait, let me see. Huh, I guess it is. Oh, what is this? Is this bootleg Legos? Splatoon bootleg Legos? What the hell? <laughs> what? Why are they playing basketball? <laughs> I mean, sure, sure, why not? These are actually, these are kind of cool. What the hell? I mean, knockoff Legos, sure, but like, look at this. There's a little squid going up the wall and everything. These are legit kind of sick. What the heck? They look really goofy, but like at the same time, that's kind of sick. They're oddly accurate too. What? There's no way these are good. Okay, wait. I might have to buy these. I might have to do an update video because this is just supposed to be a quick little video and I'm not gonna wait for this stuff to show up because it'll probably take forever. It'll probably take months. But um, I might do a follow-up video reviewing some of these products. These are interesting. Now let's look at you. You have two reviews, 11 sold and one star. That sounds like a boot like plush to me and they, they look, they are the same exact image from the Amazon ones. So these are just, oh my God, why is this? <laughs> oh no, Fry has some competition. Look at that forehead. Jeez, they make Pearl look good. I mean, not good, but <laughs> they make our forehead look good compared to this guy. My God, that is so goofy. I feel like this is something that's licensed by Nintendo though. I feel like I remember seeing some sort of Splatoon hats. Whoa, those are cute. What the heck? Those are like the freaking official Splatoon plushes, but they're pastels and they're so fat. Oh my God, those are so cute. I want that. I want that so bad. That's so cute. What the hell? Original Pokemon game, cartoon, Splatoon, squid, octopus, plush, top, 50 centimeters. Jeez. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. That's Marina. Yep, there we go. Good job, Allie. Oh, wait, look at this guy. Why does he look like that? Oh my god, I love him. There's no way that's official. It's a bootleg plush if I've ever seen it. And if it is somehow official, then geez, they did my guy dirty. All right, Timo time. Timo, show me something cool. Oh no. No, not them, not them. Off to our last one. Etsy. So after looking at a lot of that weird and kind of okay to pretty crappy Splatoon merch, I just wanted to look at some cool Splatoon merch to kind of even everything out. Because if you want Splatoon merch, go to Etsy. There is so many talented fans on Etsy and really, if you want some cool freaking merchandise, you go here. So let's just run through some of this stuff because there are some really cool things here. That is so, that, oh, those are so cute. Look at this. Look how talented these people are. I wanna make a custom garden plush. I've thought about buying a custom garden plush off of Etsy, funny enough, but I haven't bitten the bullet on that because I'm kinda of tight on money. I want that so freaking bad. It's an ink tank backpack. Can you actually put stuff in it or is it just for cosplay? All right, I actually think it's just for cosplay, but like, why don't we have an ink tank backpack? Wait, actually, it seems like there is an ink tank backpack. Okay, and it seems like it's official too. Okay, well that's interesting. Oh, that's really cool. What the hell? That's so cool. I want that. It's a little mini back, but it's one of those pin bags, but it's designed after an ink tank. I like that a lot. Most people can't afford to print something like a, you know, a big scale prop or something like this. So these life scale listings are really quite unique. Oh, wow. Oh, look, wait, we were just looking at the backpack. Wow, they make almost, they, could, they make so many weapons. Holy crap. This is so cool. Oh God, do I need to save up money to buy like my favorite Splatoon weapon as like an actual physical prop? Honestly, the Octoshot is probably one of my favorites. If not the Splatshot Jr., I would probably go for one of those. Salmon Run is probably my favorite Splatoon game mode. And I want that so bad. This is a little marble, look how cute that is. Wait, whoa, 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 it comes with a little, it comes with a little buoy. Oh yeah, did I say buoy? I meant life raft. Look at that, that's so creative. That's such a creative piece of merch. Nintendo, hire these people. 
custom splash tags, shakers. That's really oh, and they oh, and the part that you shake of the little the little emblems you put on your splash tag. God, that's clever. That's so cool. Once again, wow, that's expensive. But this is even more impressive. It's the man. It's the thing. It's the locker plushie, and it's huge. Jeez. This shiver plush is so cool looking. Look how stylized she is. That is adorable. But really, my biggest takeaway with all of this, and I've probably already said this in this video, but it's super late at night and I'm really tired, is that, sure, buy, you know, buy the official merch wherever you can get it. That works. But also, like, don't skimp out on the fan-made options because people are talented. And you can find some really cool stuff out there, especially on Etsy. It's... Look at this stuff. Where are you going to find stuff like this anywhere else? Inkling customizable plush chibi plushes. What the frick? You can get a little Splatoon crocheted plush with your, your avatar from the game. That's ep that's epic. That's damn cool. I, I don't know why I'm being so loud about this. I doubt anybody watching this video disagrees with me. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, if you want some cool Splatoon merch, Nintendo probably won't supply it. So go to Etsy and find yourself some cool, maybe pricey, but still cool as hell stuff to buy. Okay, so I wasn't going to buy anything originally because I'm pretty tight on funds, but these big goofy Splatoon glasses have been calling my name since I saw them. That or it's the voices in my head. <clears throat> Buying one thing can't hurt though. Or maybe a few. Hey ah. Asada, have you seen my credit card? Oh, kill it's just you, Jesus. Why do you sound like that? I don't have a voice yet. What? Don't worry about it, I'll have a voice whenever we're not broke. In the meantime, I am using this rad little translator device here. Oh, that's sick. Though I swear you had a voice last time we talked, but um, won't question it, I guess? Yeah. Hey, wait. Is that my credit card? Maybe. What the hell, dude? My credit sucks and we're dead poor, you can't be using that. I just wanted some big goofy glasses and maybe some bootleg plushes. We can't afford that. You just spent 1,000 bucks on plushies of yourself. I have no concept of money and its relative value. I am a slug. Slime. Slug slime. Yeah, that's, that, you know, that sounds about right. Sounds like a thinly veiled excuse to me. Like you can speak perfect English and have a YouTube channel. Am I supposed to believe you don't know the worth of a dollar? <laughs> yes. Ugh. You kill me. Look, makeshift will be calling any day now, and then we'll be sitting pretty. You seem... mad. I think. It's kind of hard to tell with the monotone voice box thing going on. I'm pissed. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Uh, I found 20 bucks. We could go for ice cream. Would that help by any chance? No, but I'll accept. Sounds like a plan to me. I just gotta buy these glasses first. Give me that card now. <laughs>